What's up, what's up, what's up, my creative peeps, entrepreneurs, designers, videographers, motion graphic designers, you name it. It's your boy Michael Stewart here with a quick tutorial. So I'm using Adobe After Effects right here. And this is the 2020 version. But what I noticed, I, I just finished creating this slideshow. Unfortunately, my, my grandma um, passed. So I just created this real quick um, slideshow to really just highlight some stuff in her life. However, the big issue here is when it's time to actually export the video, I, I, I just I would have done in the past. I, I went up to File export and then add to render queue when i add it to render queue the only option here is to actually export it as an mov file which is nice but the thing about mov mov files is that they're usually very very large so boy oh boy that was a pain because here i am actually looking to export it as a mp4 file which is a very good file format that gives a good quality video video and, and it, it's not so heavy on the file size. So now I see another option there which is file, export, and then add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. When I do that now, I get this dreaded message that pretty much is saying that I don't have it installed, which is true. I do not have this um, plugin installed. It's saying that Adobe Media Encoder is not installed. Please install. So I'm here to show you a really easy, simple workaround um, for this. And the workaround is really to add to the render queue as usual and export it as the MOV file format. The, the, the existing settings for it should work fine. So all you would need to do is export it as an MOV file. This video is about 2 minutes and 15 seconds long. And when I actually exported it, it came to a whopping 17 gigs. That's 17 gigs on the hard drive. So once, it's ex once it has been exported, this is where you'd want to get this very, very useful tool. And if you're a video... um editor, producer, motion graphic artist, any sort of video creative professional, you need to have this tool on your machine which is called Handbrake and it's basically a video converter. So when I got that 17 gig video MOV file and I placed it inside Handbrake, so let me bring you over to Handbrake so that you can get an idea of what that looks like. So when you open Handbrake, this is what you'll, you'll get, this window, and it's going to ask you to select the file that you want. So you would pretty much select the, the video and hit open. So this is a video of me, uh, for example, and then we'll choose the file format that we want to export it as, and here we have MP4. And you'll pretty much leave all the other settings at the same. And once I exported that file, so you choose it, choose the, the, where you want to save it. I'm saving it here in my movies section. And then you hit start. And when I exported that 17 gig file and, and, and converted it in Handbrake, it came all the way down to only 94.2 megabytes so right now i don't have that mov file on the machine because i deleted it after converting it but i just thought you would find it to be very very useful so remember that tool hand break and that will solve your problem export it as an mov then exp put it in hand break convert it to mp4 you you'll see how a, a file drop and then you can get rid of that heavy mov file so if you really liked this video please give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit subscribe and also check out the channel because we have other videos on a lot of creative stuff 
um, from graphic design to, to marketing tips, email marketing, even web design. So go explore if you're a creative professional and you'll find some useful content. And be sure to drop us a comment. I'll be happy to reply and just have a convo with, with you. All right. So peace out and take care.